Kia ora koutou and welcome to Brass Birmingham in about three minutes. There is no solo mode. It's a game for two to four players, playing time is long, and it's a pretty complex game. It's the Industrial Revolution in Northern England. You are an early capitalist hoping to build a mighty business and reap huge profits. Can you become one of the great British captains of industry? The game ends after two eras of play. An era lasts until all cards have been played. The winner is the player with the most points at the end of the game, and you get these by placing links and selling buildings. Card manager. Every action in Brass requires cards. Network building. Connecting your network is the key to victory. Player turn. You will have a hand of eight cards and can take two actions each turn. Each action requires you to use a card. You then redraw to eight cards unless the deck is empty, in which case you play until your hand runs out and the error ends. You can spend an action to place a link. In error one, this costs three coins, and in error two, it costs five coins and a coal to place one link, or 15 coins, two coal, and a bear to place two. You can construct a building if it is connected by links using the matching industry card. Or you can build anywhere if you have the matching city card. You must build the lowest tier building in a group first. You can sell a building if you are connected to a matching merchant. Selling requires you to spend bear, either your own from anywhere or another player's if you are connected to them. Selling flips buildings and grants you increased income and victory points. Resource buildings also flip if all the resources are used. You can use another player's links to sell a building and bear on a merchant if it is still available. If you build a coal mine and is connected to a merchant and the coal market has space, that coal automatically sells to the market and you can flip the building. Iron mines do the same but don't need to be connected. The develop action allows you to spend iron to remove buildings from your board so you can build higher tier ones earlier. When your income goes up, move it by the number of small steps shown. You can take an action to get a loan for 30 coins, but that takes your income down three full steps. Finally, you can discard three cards to draw one of each wild card. These count as any location or any industry type. Place all money spent on your two actions here. The next turn's turn order is based on who spent the least money. At the end of era one, remove all links and tier one buildings. This may leave you with very little on the board for era two. Why would you like this game? Brass Birmingham is a pretty heavy weight game that would appeal to people who like a good amount of player interaction and thinking on their feet. And it's the opportunism that makes brass really tick. You see the iron market is getting empty, so you can make a quick buck by placing one. There's also different ways to score points. You can get plenty from selling buildings, but just as many if not more from well-placed links. And the markets change each game, shifting how the board evolves. What is hot one game will not be the next. The best thing about this game is that you want other players using your stuff. So take this turn, the grey player uses an iron to place a coal mine and then sells their factory. Yellow, red and grey all gain from this. However, in groups with players with analysis paralysis, it can grind to a crawl. So if you are a slow player, make sure to play with people who don't mind that. Setup is also a bit of a pain, getting all those buildings in place. And the coins from the basic game are annoying. Play with either chips from the deluxe version or get a cheap box of poker chips. Brass Birmingham is a reimagining of Brass Lancashire, and the games share a lot in common. And for another classic network builder, try Power Grid. Brass Birmingham. How about Gold Medal Birmingham? And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel, come support us on Patreon, and check out our extended coverage here.